Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I'm making a quick video on how to install an eGPU via bootcamp on the iMac, okay? I've done this on the iMac 2020 and the 2019. This is the 2019, okay? Now, before I continue, I wanna make one thing clear. It only works in bootcamp, okay? So I've got a RX 6900 XT. Now, NVIDIA and the uh, RX 6000 series graphic cards by AMD, they will only work in bootcamp. Don't ask me how a 6000 series will work on Mac OS because it doesn't, it's not supported to date. I've tried it with Big Sur 11.2.3, which is the current one, and also the beta 11.3 does not work. It's not supported the eGPU. If you want an eGPU and a Mac, you need to go older than the 6000 series, like a 56, 5700 XT or a 5600 XT, you know? However, let's, so that's that. Now, regarding this video, sorry, I have an external camera recording the screen. I tried internal, Windows is just so pedantic and I just gave up. Half the time my recording was canceled or my audio didn't record completely. So I'm just giving up on that. So let's do this. First things first, let's look at the Mac we've got here. Now, this way, there's no mods. We don't need the EFI loaders for iMac. We don't need to use Clover and all that stuff. If you guys have watched my old videos on how to do a MacBook Pro 16 inch or how to do a MacBook Pro 13 inch, I'll link in the description below those videos as well. If you want to check those out, they're very different. They're a bit more, a bit more involved. Okay. Whereas this is a lot easier on the iMac. So simply put, I've got the latest uh, version of uh, Windows, which is there, and that's my iMac. So it's the highest i9 you could have gotten on the 2019 iMac, which is the 9900K. If this was the 2020 one, it'll have the 10900K on there. All right, without going into too much of that, so here we have the AMD uh, GPU into external and eGPU, so internal dedicated dGPU. This process will work on the iMac with a dGPU. So if you've got a 21 inch iMac which has a dedicated GPU, it'll work or discrete GPU, whatever you want to call it. So if it's got an iGPU, internal GPU, it won't work with that. It's got a different process to that. Watch my video about the 13 inch MacBook Pro, that'll help you for that. Now, other than that, this is basically it. Now, first things first, I've got two links. One is for bootcamp drivers, which is here, and one is for this website. Instead of downloading it from Windows, which gives you the very first Windows 10, and then you're upgrading it forever, what I do normally is if I need to go to bootcamp, I get the latest version of Windows, which is that build over there. And if it loads in half an hour, and the internet in Australia is horrible, guys because we, anyways, so then you click download and download this and then install this through bootcamp. If you don't know how to install through bootcamp and use bootcamp, I want you to watch this video of mine, okay? So this shows you guys how to install bootcamp, Windows through bootcamp. It's very easy, very straightforward through bootcamp assistant. So watch it till Windows 10 through bootcamp. So once that's done, stop watching this. I want you to watch this video. This will teach you how to install bootcamp drivers okay so as of date download blue okay do not download red red for the iMac red will work on your MacBook Pros both of them it won't work on iMacs it'll be really glitchy and things like that will be really hard use the blue edition the latest one that's fine according to my video at the time you had to play around with it and install the April version then the latest version now it's been fixed you can just install the February blue version directly now there's three kind of drivers one that you get with bootcamp through windows those are for the apple's discrete G gpu so dgpu it will not work with an eGPU. then you have the ones from amd so you go to drivers and support and let's say you got the 6900 xt you get that and they've just updated their, their drivers here, you can see. So anyways, you can get this. This will work for an eGPU. It won't work for a dGPU. With your iMac, you, need, you want your dGPU. Whereas with the MacBook Pros, I deactivated the dGPUs. They didn't work properly. So with this, you need it. So I'll go in here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. 
So just really quickly. So all right, so here you've got all the information. So that's my CPU, okay, eight gigs of RAM with it. And that's the internal graphic card. So discrete D GPU, this is the, uh, dedicated GPU, I like to call it, or and this is the external GPU, so external, so that's the so you can use two GPUs. So, boot camp drivers not only support the DGPU but the eGPU together, okay? So, the injury that's why I want you guys to install that. Then, just watch this video of mine, get that out of the way. Watch this video completely, it'll tell you how to install it. You need to remove the drivers for Intel, NVIDIA, and through DDU, there's a software in there. Yeah, and after you've done that, Intel, AMD, everything, the sound, everything, you've uninstalled it, shut it down, turn it back on. Make sure at no point you've connected the eGPU. Do not connect the eGPU at all. Then go into bootcamp drivers, download the bootcamp drivers. It'll teach you on there, you know. So download that one. After you've downloaded bootcamp drivers and everything is installed, everything's done, you've restarted your computer and it's good to go, shut it down. Once you've shut it down, I want you to cold plug your eGPU. Hot plugging is when it's turned on and your computer's turned on and in the middle of boot you plug it in. That works for MacBook Pros, doesn't work for an iMac. Plug it in and when the computer's off, turn on your eGPU, leave it on for about five seconds or something and then turn on your iMac. It'll work flawlessly. It'll just boot into your iMac. Then you can go into uh, your settings. So make sure you on the first boot you go into your settings and you go into display. And in, in display, so for example, this is my second screen. So as you can see, identify two, okay. So what you need to do in here is go down and show only two. So there's no point in having your iMac screen on as well. Now, sometimes you this will crash, okay. When you boot it up, it won't work, okay. Your It'll just get stuck at the Windows logo. What I want you to do is just power it off, turn off your eGPU if that happens, Turn your iMac on and let your iMac turn on without the eGPU connected. It'll turn on all the way. When it's turned on, everything's loaded. I want you to shut it back down, connect the eGPU, turn on the eGPU, turn your iMac on. It'll work every time. It's worked for me, not an issue at all, okay? By the way, if you get this, just ignore that. That's Intel. So I've removed the Intel drivers. If you want to install it, you can have your integrated iGPU turned on as well. I didn't need it, so I've uninstalled it. I'm keeping it bare bones just for gaming and testing like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please thumbs up. It lets other people know and about the video, share the word around. Also subscribe so if you want to see more content and support me, that really helps out. I've also got Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow me on there, guys. Thank you for sticking to the end and watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Uh, this was a lot congested, like shortened, and hopefully it'll help you guys out. But watch the 13 inch and the 16 inch. It'll give you an idea of what to expect and how to play around with it. With this one being so much easier, I didn't think it warranted a full video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take good care. Bye-bye.